Hello and welcome to the first video on the Business Box YouTube channel. This will be the first video I'm uploading and on this channel I plan to post content involving business, finance and other concepts based on those topics. So if it sounds like something you would be interested in watching and learning about, then subscribe, leave a like and let's get straight into the video. So. In today's video, we're going to be discussing what is equity. Let's get straight into it. So starting off with a basic definition, equity is defined as the ownership of assets that have liabilities attached to them. It is the amount of money the owner would be paid after selling the asset and paying off any liabilities. So let's let's dive a bit into this, uh, starting off with where are the main areas where equity is used? Why? Where are we going to be using this? So there's two main areas and these are in accounting and housing. So in accounting, it's used to determine how much investors and shareholders own in capital within a business. Capital being money. When you have a public company that trades on the stock market, you can buy stock, for example, Tesla and other larger companies. So how much of the business does each person own when it's traded in stock? How much of the company, what percentage of the company does each shareholder own? And housing. Housing is used to determine how much of the property is owned by you and how much is owned by the bank through mortgages and loans that have been borrowed. So why is understanding this so important? Why do we need to know this? Well, in business, it's significant for, account for uh, balancing the books so when you're running your own business, you need everything to be legal, everything to be in order. So finance is a main part of that, doing your taxes, balancing your books, looking at cash flows. And then domestically, for homeowners, as we've just touched on, uh, for understanding how much of the mortgage you owe, how much of the property you own. So when it comes to sell or move, you know where you stand. So the equity equation. Let's let's make this make sense. So you have equities equal to assets take away liabilities. The same from the definition at the start where we said uh, assets with liabilities attached to them in our beginning definition. This is the equation for equity to work out. Equity is equal to assets take away the liabilities. So let's look at a working example. You own a home with a value of two hundred thousand pounds. Your mortgage is £50,000. Your loan from the bank is 50000 Using the equity equation of assets, take away liabilities, we have £200,000 home, which would be our asset, the £50,000 mortgage, which would be our liability. Take this away and we have £150,000 equity in our house. So it's a simple equation. Now, as well as positive, equity can also be negative. Typical of most assets, their value can fluctuate depending on the market. Negative equity is when the value of the asset drops below the outstanding balance of a loan or mortgage. So what do I mean by this? Let's look at an example. Using similar numbers from the example before, we have a home valued at £200,000 when we bought it. We used a mortgage of £150,000. Our mortgage balance is £150,000. However, the housing market has just crashed and the current value now of the home is £100,000. This would put us in what is known as negative equity. As the mortgage, the outstanding balance on the mortgage is more, is valued more than the assets we have. So just a quick overview, what have we covered in today's video? In today's video, we've looked at a definition of equity, where it's used and why it's so important to understand. We've covered the equity equation. We've looked at a working example of this, and we've also discussed what negative equity is. So if you enjoyed this video and if it's something you would be interested in watching more of in the future, again, please leave a like, subscribe. It's much appreciated and I will see you in the next video.